I injected peptides for 42 days. Be as careful as possible. This is what happened. Warning, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. It was filmed under the supervision of a healthcare professional in a controlled environment. All right guys, so I have chronic pain. Like, I have a lot of chronic pain and it's been years that I've had this. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning, I break my legs and every afternoon, I break my arms. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Just kidding, shout out to SpongeBob. But honestly, um, I have a herniated disc in my lower back. I've had surgery on my right knee, right knee arthroscopy, and I have a chronic patellar tendonitis in my left. I have a lot of different nerve issues such as thoracic outlet and cubital tunnel syndrome that have bothered me for a while. My elbows, my shoulders, um, and my wrists, they always pop all the time, especially when I bench, whenever I work out. So basically what I'm trying to say is I am wrecked. I'm grateful to be alive and in good health, but at my young age, it is very disheartening to see all my friends consistently making progress in the gym. And I'm always dealing with some type of pain or injury and they never have to deal with it. So if you yourself have ever had any injury or chronic pain or disease, like I feel you to the max. Now, what do you do when you're in this position? You get very desperate and desperation creates curiosity. I went down the internet rabbit hole for a really long time, searching for a solution to my pain so I would no longer have to have a caretaker wipe my ass, spoon feed me, read me bedtime stories, turn me over in bed so I don't have to watch my ex-girlfriend cheating on me with the guy in the bed next to me. Just kidding, it's not that bad yet. But anyways, I finally came across these things called peptides, right? What are peptides? Peptides are tiny molecules made up of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. Peptides can have various effects on the body, such as promoting growth, regulating hormones, or supporting immune system function. Just to name a few and some peptides are used in medicine for specific purposes under the supervision of healthcare professionals and they are designed to target specific areas or functions in the body to help treat certain conditions or promote overall well-being some very well-known peptides that you might have heard of before are insulin for diabetic people or big bodybuilders and hgh human growth hormone so i kept researching and eventually i came across a private chat room that i found where i can send crypto to foreign models and Oh shit, this is the wrong script. <laughs> so pretty much I found two peptides that have been rising in popularity. Now, these two peptides together, when taken together, are literally referred to as the Wolverine stack. That's pretty sick, right? And basically because in unison, when you take them together, they have a potential synergistic effect on tissue repair and healing, reducing inflammation and joint and muscle recovery, which makes you think, does it really give you Wolverine-like healing capabilities? So this got me interested. There was a lot of people talking online about their experience with these peptides and how they were able to cure their chronic pains and illnesses by using them and so yeah my eyes lit up for the first time in years bro hearing this like i finally felt another shred of hope obviously i was like count me in so anyways i called up my doctor and after several back and forth conversations office visits referrals and passive aggressive insults i was finally able to get my hand on these two peptides and here's where it gets interesting for the sake of this video i'm not going to give you guys my exact dosing protocol for obvious reasons um i don't want anyone out there to copy me because every individual is unique and it's different when it comes to medical needs this was what was prescribed to me by my healthcare professional so unless you promise to keep it our little secret you can dm me on instagram no no i'm kidding i'm kidding just kidding uh this is comedy i'm a comedian here's the thing about peptides guys a vast majority of them are injectable like 99 percent of them you don't take these orally and um, there's a few you can but even those ones they say like they're not as bioavailable as if you were to inject them so including the ones i got these were injectable now i'm no stranger to pain or needles and some might even call me a masochist including my ex but she takes 10 minutes to figure out where she wants to go for lunch based on that her words can't be trusted so anyways i was going to be injecting on a daily basis on average two injections per day morning and night sometimes three injections per day on the days that the compounds overlapped i was specifically instructed to use insulin needles which are like very short and the injections are subcutaneous meaning only under the skin not intramuscular which is how steroids are taken pretty much what that looks like this is an insulin syringe it's a really short needle i'm not going to take the top off but it's really it almost looks like a mosquito stinger that's what you use for peptides unlike these types of long needles which you use for steroids um don't ask me why i have this needle but anyways real quick i'll be honest with you guys there is no freaking way zero chance that anybody not even my own doctor was gonna talk me out of using these peptides at this point when you're at a point in life where you've had pain for so long you don't even remember what life was like before having those issues that's your new norm now you know and i just wanted my youth back right i miss being able to run fast pain free jump do backflips without any warm-up you know without flaring up my knees or hurting my lower back i miss getting big bench press prs with the boys and not complaining about shoulder pain between every single set i don't know i just 
just wanted to feel like there wasn't flaming barbed wires inside all my joints for the first time in my life. So anyways, I started the 42 day prescription, which was six weeks of one peptide, 30 days of the other, and they were gonna be overlapping at certain points. I don't wanna go into detail. Like I said, I can't specify what the protocol was, but check this out right here. After an entire 42 days, you guys will never guess what happened to me. I honestly couldn't even believe this outcome myself. I was mind blown. And so was my doctor actually. Honestly, pause the video and comment right now what you think I'm about to say. I guarantee you nobody's gonna guess it in the comments. Comment what you think happened to me after the 42 days. The answer is, drum roll, nothing. Yes, you heard that correctly. Literally nothing. I followed my doctor's instructions to the T. You know, I took the necessary precautions. I did everything right in my eyes. However, the peptides didn't work for me. And you guys have no idea how mentally devastating and exhausting this was considering how much money I spent. I paid a lot of money. I'm talking hundreds, close to thousands of dollars for these freaking peptides because they're not cheap. This is like high-end medical stuff, right? So I went through like 72 needles, poking myself every day. I had so much freaking hope for this treatment, but unfortunately, they just didn't work for me. Does this mean peptides in themselves don't work? No, absolutely not. A lot of people have had success most people that use them have had success i am just one of the few people that took them injected myself regularly and i didn't have any results that's why i wanted to make this video because every video i've seen on peptides most of the time it's like a positive outcome so allow me to be one of the outliers to tell you guys don't get your hopes up it's not magic it works for a lot of people you could always be that one person that it's not working for they aren't for everyone could it have been my fault that it didn't work yes of course, maybe I unknowingly did something that affected the efficacy. All I know is I took them very consistently as I was ordered to for 42 days and they didn't help me at all. But wait one second, there was one thing I actually noticed and it wasn't until the very end of my treatment. It was not until the end of the last week that I noticed this. Sure, none of my main issues resolved, but I did notice one thing, a slight, very slight decrease in lower back pain. Now I herniated a disc in my lower back, L4, L5 years ago. This is the first time I noticed like I'm not normally getting as much pain in my lower back as I used to. You know, even when I sit in a chair for a long time, I don't get fatigue in my lower back like I used to. I can even kind of do Romanian deadlifts now with little pain, which is huge for me. Like I've never been able to do that movement without tweaking that disc. Maybe there's a chance all the peptides went to my lower back and helped it, but it could also be the fact that during this protocol, I was training core a lot and I was hanging from a bar to decompress my spine and my shoulders and stretch me out. Those two things do also help with back pain. Pretty much, I'm not really sure what it was. Could it have been the peptides? Yes. Could it have been what I was doing? Yes. Overall, I'm thankful my back pain has gone from like a five to six to now a regular three to four. So to me, that's progress. And when you're in this situation, honestly, any progression is always a huge one. So guys, take this video with a grain of salt. Peptides did not really have an impact on me for what I could measure. I'm not going to encourage the use of any substance. So I won't say go try them. I will only encourage severe stimulant addictions and drug induced psychosis. Don't clip that. This is comedy. If you're experimenting with peptides or if you're going to legally or not, leave a comment about it below. If you have done it, if they helped you, if you are against them, let me know why. Make sure it's not self-incriminating. Otherwise, leave a comment about your thoughts on this journey. But yeah, with that being said, this is Key Mass Duets signing out. Let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world, okay? Peace.